Hi, welcome to this video where I'm breaking down this phrasing idea that's based around alternating single strokes between the, the hands and feet. That's something that most of us tend to attempt at some point, perhaps like this with between the right hand and foot. Or if you're feeling a little more ambitious, you might do it with the left hand and foot. But this, this idea is something that I first heard played by Vinny Colliuta, where you play, use both hands and both feet using this sort of diagonal coordination. Uh, so you're going to go right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. And there's just something about this order of, of notes that is, it's not dissimilar to the firing order of an engine, but once you get it, it helps you maintain your balance and you can keep it going. So once again, Right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. Now, needless to say, I didn't just sit down and play that one day. That, I found that quite difficult and a couple of the things that helped me in pursuit of that were, firstly, I found that when I was playing the single stroke, for some reason, once I incorporated the bass drum, I was sort of uh, digging, or not quite digging into the snare, but not allowing the sticks to rebound as I normally would. If I played single strokes normally, I'd like to feel the sticks rebounding off the drum. But for some reason, when I was practicing this, I was tending to stop the strokes at the bottom and it all just felt tense and it, and it really stopped the flow. So the first thing I did was, yeah, try and relax, get the sticks coming back up. The other thing that helped was uh, the idea of, of grouping the hands or feeling the hands as, as triplets. This was something I heard Greg Bessonette talking about at a drum clinic. So you could put a bit of emphasis, or if not emphasis, you're feeling the hands um, in, in groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it kind of allows you to step back and see the bigger picture. So next we'll put that into context to fill, thinking of what we're doing as, as 16th notes. And you'll notice that one of the adjustments we need to do is we need to play two consecutive for you right foot notes to fill in the last note and play the next crash. So if we think of what is played between the hands and feet as 16th notes, your right foot is gonna play the last 16th note and then the next note is, will be the crash on the downbeat. So three, And that same thing will apply with the bass drum if we think of the hands as playing eighth note triplets. So once I could maintain that pattern between the hands and feet, the next thing that I started to work on was trying to phrase with accents over the top of that. So uh, something like this, three, four.
And then it dawned on me that, well, perhaps as opposed to just playing them as accents in single strokes, I could play them as flams within the single strokes. So, you know, perhaps taking like a figure like this. And then with the bass drum filling in the spaces. And so everything I was playing there with the hands was uh, flams within single strokes. So without the bass drums, you'd get things like this. I'll start off with the same figure. So right there, you've got a pat of flaw flaw. And then finally, what I'm doing at the end there is this, uh, I'm using this hand playing this sort of molar, if you like, a uh, group of four. And then the feet are falling in between that. And I'm just sort of holding everything together with a broken 16th note rhythm on the ride. So there you've got a few different ideas that I've tried with this concept and as I said earlier, yeah, it wasn't something I could do immediately so just chip away at it slowly and before you know it, it'll be ticking over like that, that engine and you'll be moving it around the kit. So hopefully some of this has been of, of some use and some interest, uh, if it has, perhaps Give me a like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next video soon.